This is the most important thing in your effort. If, I, if we are fighting and you are like, like a weak neck, okay, now the fight should, now the fight should be decided at this point. Like if, if you fight against someone experienced, here you lost the fight if I don't make mistakes. Because it becomes here, and right now I can decide, I can predict what is going to happen. If he's, uh, well, I, no, I can actually not predict completely. I can see what's going to happen. Maybe if he's bad, he will run backwards. No, straight backwards, run backwards. Ah, see, and go back, slowly, go backwards. See, and he can push his head more down, and then he has to choose a side, and that's when you start exposing the back or guillotines or whatnot. So let's say we're here. What should be his correct reaction here? Who can coach him? Show me, please. Lift up, Lift up your head, please. No, well, like, well, like, well you're, 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 yeah, you're, you're, you're mean it right, you mean it correct, but then we have to be as a coach, or we have to say it correct, right? And not, not saying you mean it wrong, but look, what about, so if you say, yeah, lift your head, eh? and then beginners will start doing this. Drop my head, please. They will start, relax, relax, because they will start doing this. Yeah. Ah, but, but I was lifting my head. No, you're lifting yeah. your whole body, except your head. So what I should be doing is, first of all, look at I should drop myself. I don't care if my nose into the floor, my, my, my spine always precedes anything. I don't care if you break my arm, that's bad, but I will heal. Everything heals, well, not really, because when you're 30 or 35, you still feel it, it never heals, but better than your spine, right? So if someone gets your head here, here, and now so pull it down, see, I have to resist, I have to go down, lift my head, and then put my knee on the floor. And now pull me, pull me forward, please, even if I fall, okay? my spine is still okay. And maybe I get choked. That's, that's part of the game. You will lose some time, but at least you didn't get injured. So go back down. So we have to protect the spine in two ways. I have to protect his spine because he's my friend and my partner. And even in competition, I don't really want people to have bad spines. That's, that's very nasty to do. And he has to protect himself. So how can he protect himself? So he can protect himself. Make yourself a ball, please. Like this. So now he's not really protecting himself. He can do early protection. By lifting his chin up, more, 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 more. Arch your back, please. No. Listen, never do that again, okay? Never lift your hip up in the center. Okay? I will talk more about that later. Arch more. Push your elbows into the floor. Yeah. And now that's good. Keep that. Keep that. Push into the floor. Yes. Okay, now it's hard for me. And look at Push me away. And look what happens. No, no. Listen to me. Listen. Lift your hip slowly. Lift your hip up. Let launch. Look what happens to the neck. Let's run up. Let's run high. Relax, man, relax. <laughs> don't try to be smart, because I know you go to my class and learn, I know you know. <laughs> don't now, look, here. So, look, I'm here, look, and he starts to lift his hip up. See? That's when his neck, neck gets bent. Relax, don't be smart. See? I will not kill you. <laughs> now his whole spine is bent, and that's what I'm actually looking for when, I, when I'm trying to stack past. I wait for that push. Okay, now go back. Go back down. So, he can protect himself early, right? And if I do control the length, you neck, please, and I catch it, he can protect himself late. So now it's late protection. So what should he never do is push hard away, right? What should he do? You gonna you coach him, please? Uh, put your elbow on the floor. Yeah. And top of the head, try to put the top of the head to the, to the ground by lifting the belly, yeah, do do. not the hips. Yeah, go, yeah. Belly, not very the good, very good, very good. And relax a bit more, okay. And if I'm already closer, look at now you will not be able to, to stretch your spine anymore, but lift your chin up, please. But yeah, at least protect your neck. And again, it's not a pro. Lift your neck up, please. More, 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 more. Lift your chin higher. It's not a problem to be here. It, it's actually not, not bad for your body. What bad is pushing me away. See? So keep tight, keep tight. Are you still okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, because I'm his friend and my training partner, look, what I should never do for, for there is altruistic <coughs> reason and selfish reason. You understand? Altruistic is bien pour lui, and selfish is egoistic is bien pour moi. Okay? Look. So why don't I want to run over like a train? Well, if I go hard and he doesn't and he's not prepared, he will injure his neck. But if I do run over on a train, people on competition, eh? well, there are stories of police officers shooting people seven times with a bullet and the person still keeps coming. And there is plenty of stories of people getting their arms broken and heels ripped off and, and heels and still continue the fight. Just saying, if I'm here and I run him over like a train, and go straight, okay, go straight, see, and I go hard enough, I will be, will not do it now, because it's very unhealthy, 
But I, if I run him over, I go a bit sideways now, this will happen and he will shoot and I will lose control also. And the day after, his neck will be sore, but the mole itself will be escaped. This is true for a triangle, for a close guard, uh, for, for every kind of stack pass. So, when we're here, when we're stacking, okay, look, just assume most people are going to make mistakes. You get here, and 900 people, you go with him, they're going to start pushing their hip up. And you'll keep walking forward. Now you stay here, exactly at 12 o'clock. Don't go further, don't go less. And what, so push me away. And what are they going to do? Usually they relax their hip now, relax. That's when you can set that. And now wait at 12 o'clock. Small adjustments here. Like I said to you, Marius, like keep your elbows closed here. Go a bit more forward and your knees connect to the hip. And look at this. this is, and then you guys are going to test again. See? I'm like a, a little kid of six year old who got a football for St. Nicholas. Okay? And I'm going to keep my ball. Okay? And very tight. Now look. If I put my weight more backwards here. Now I can lift this chin up. Yeah. Keep lifting chin up. Yeah, and now we can fix it. Relax, please, go. If I keep my weight more forward, now relax your, now, now try to fix your neck. Fix your neck. It's way harder. And I want you to test this. So here's where I usually fight, but I can go all the way, okay, to this extreme, relax that. Mm -hmm. I can go all the way, see, to this extreme here. Don't move, please. So I want you to now to get out, not moving sideways, but backwards and forwards. I said, not moving sideways, that's for later. So here, up. Let's go again, do a headstand, and I'm in the middle, see, push me away, hard, push me over, yeah. very hard, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So, and my head, my hands actually prevent this move, head from moving sideways. And if you can fight it that far, then early should be okay. But I prefer a headstand over having my weight too much at 6 o'clock. Understood? So I'm going to give you guys like 5 to 10 minutes, no, maybe 5 minutes, to test all this, and then we continue, okay? Let's try it.